Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, it's a real privilege to be in this beautiful heart of this amazing city at this time. Indeed, these are momentous times for Hungary, not merely in its economic growth, but for my sector, telecommunications also. We are truly becoming the sector of all sectors, fueling this beautiful country's digitalization. And as we enter this new era together, I am really privileged to be here with my family representing Vodafone. Quoting the famous Hungarian, Sándor Mári, Amara az emberek sokáig, Naj akaratál, kitartásál, elora látásál, és kurultikintésál készülődnek. Végül is bekövet kézik. It is thanks to that great Hungarian spirit of long-term planning and hard work, which I have seen in abundance since I arrived here, Hungary now stands at the forefront of digital change. And as one of the few countries in the world with live, permanent 5G stations already in place. On the 20th of May, Vodafone deployed our first 5G base station using our own frequency in the Zalazone Automotive Proving Ground. Then three days later in May, we inaugurated another permanent 5G station, this time here in Budapest on the rooftop of our business. It's a huge thanks to my colleagues and predecessors that we've been first to bring these advancements to Hungary because Vodafone had the courage and foresight to invest in 5G spectrum in the 2016 auction. But that's not it. 5G is coming in an even bigger way to Budapest shortly. The Hungarian capital will enjoy gigabit mobile speeds as we deploy a significant number of 5G stations here later this year for commercial launch. This is a huge milestone. With, Go with Vodafone's help, the government of Hungary has achieved its objective of putting this country at Europe's cutting edge for 5G. And this, of course, is merely a first step. 5G is different to previous technologies. We've heard that already this morning. And success does not depend on one single operator. We need partnerships and ecosystems where operators, suppliers, developers, entrepreneurs, governments, innovators, industry players work together. We need to find exciting ways to bring this technology to life. And let, let me give you some real examples of how this is happening today. We are now in advanced discussions with a number of universities and leading businesses to install operational permanent 5G base stations for them to test and we're asking companies of all sizes, from startups to multinationals, to work with us so that they can test their innovations on a live network. I've already said it's a truly exciting time to be part of telecons. I've been in this industry for 20 years and still wake up every day with a sense of excitement for what's possible. But what motivates us the most? Well, at, Vin at Vodafone, it's simple the fact that we're connecting our customers for a better future. And globally, we recently announced extremely ambitious goals. Globally, we are going to improve one billion lives and halve our environmental impact. Our primary role in improving such a significant amount of the world's population is heavy investment in gigabit networks such as 5G and in the Internet of Things technology because these are the building blocks for the digital society we're creating. Together with UPC, if we get the approval from the EU Commission, Hungary will have even more robust gigabit networks accessible by even more citizens, and Vodafone will remain the leading IoT operator here. But gigabit networks don't make gigabit societies. 
We need to work with this ecosystem I've already mentioned to constantly innovate and inspire in ways that make this technology come alive in our customers' everyday lives. You know, daily use cases of Internet of Technology uh, things is already a reality. In families, we've got this great kid watch which helps parents like me with small children keep in touch with my kids and know their whereabouts. In more and more cities, we're deploying smart parking solutions which with apps you can see what's available. It reduces carbon emissions, increases efficiency for the cities. Agricultural businesses of all sizes can monitor their production remotely. Fleet businesses are tracking vehicles. Intelligent IoT systems are tracking energy consumption and system functionality across this country, whether it's supermarkets, stores, warehouses. So this technology is already coming to life. But we need to be inspired by things that are also out of the ordinary, the really new stuff. Uh, and this is where I honestly think Hungary has a huge advantage in Europe. The passion here for creativity, the science, the innovation, this is something special. So combine that with the power of our networks, we can do something great in this country at this time. I was personally really inspired recently at our digital awards, where we were giving awards for Hungarian, uh, Hungarian started innovations for kids, families, and NGOs. One example was the Onco VR solution. We all know that hospitalization, especially for young children, is extremely difficult. They are afraid, in pain, away from families and friends. And this solution is awesome. These are VR glasses, virtual reality glasses, that the children can wear. It gives them a healing and relaxing environment reducing the side effects of the chemo treatment for cancer and giving them more opportunities to get better. You know, leading on from this, the third part of our vision isn't just the networks and the inspiring solutions, but we must make sure that these innovations are accessible to all. No one in Hungary will be left behind. Globally, again, Vodafone has really ambitious targets here. We're going to connect 50 million women, especially in emerging markets. We're going to be the number one employer for women. And we're going to connect 10 million young people to digital skills and jobs who are not connected today by 2025. Let me give you some examples of how here in Vodafone Hungary we're bringing this to life. We have our digital school program. We now help over 15,000 children, 1,500 teachers, over 50 schools providing devices and data, but that's easy. The more important point, the know-how to use that technology safely and in a way that enhances their prospects. We're tackling the gender gap in technology head on. I can tell you with a management team of over 50% women, we're doing our bit personally. In the EU, the percentage of women in the ICT sector is still only 17%. That's why we're working with NGOs and our staff to do multiple coding activities, especially for young girls, and in order to contribute to their inclusion in this world of ICT. And we're helping Hungarian youth. We've got the Future Jobs Finder. It's a gamified digital platform that helps children understand their skills and their future digital career opportunities. So finally, as with our Vodafone global ambition, we believe this digital society should not come at the cost of the environment. We're committed to reducing our greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by 2025 and to reusing, reselling or recycling 100% of our network waste. We will be taking this challenge head on here in Hungary. So I'm excited. And I firmly believe that our Vodafone purpose to improve as many Hungarian lives as possible, to include everyone and halve our environmental impact is fully aligned with Hungary's own goal for digital prosperity. This goal can only be achieved with a strong and thriving telecom sector. And that's the climate we need to continue here in Hungary and it will need all of your support. It is an era of rapid change and development, 
but also of strengthening. As we grow with UPC, we will make sure that all of Hungary grows with us. An exciting future indeed.